I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume that I was not the only one yelling at the TV on multiple occasions tonight. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. The first yelling at the TV came toward the beginning of the Double Jeopardy round when Julia, who finished the first round in second or third or whatever Alex thought, ran that art and artist category. That was a great way to kick off the round, including that daily double. Uh, I could kind of tell she wanted to wager everything, but she held off. Would have worked out for her, but you know, I can't blame her in that situation. It's early and it could be a tough category. There was the clue about the Netherlands that everyone missed, and I was yelling at the TV, Alex, don't say no harm, no foul, please don't. But for the first time in maybe forever, he did not. So maybe it worked. Retroactive karma of some sort. And then, of course, there was the Daily Double that Adam had at the end of the round when he was trailing big, and it was an $800 clue in a very limited category, and the three below were gimmies, at least for him. And uh, he laid down a bunt. Would have had a much bigger lead right now. Somehow he got into the lead after Julia missed that last clue and Adam picked it up. He's got 13,000, Julia 11,800, Dan 3,400. First of all, I gotta say one thing. I know there is at least one real perv <laughs> on the Jeopardy writing staff, but one of those categories tonight was pretty over the line. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But one of those categories, man, I know what you're going for there. Okay. Julia doubles up. That's going to be 23-6. So uh, Adam's going to need 10-6 to cover. So if he is wrong with that, he's going to be left with 2,400, which is nice for Dan. Uh, Dom, I'm sorry. Because he can uh, wager up to 1,000. And stay above Adam. And, uh, you know, I'm not even going to worry about the big wager for Julia here just because those of you who've been watching for a while will recognize this is a strategic situation because Julia can cover Adam and keep Dom locked out pretty easily here. Uh, oh, yeah, Dom doubles up. He's got 6,800. So Julia, to keep him locked out, can wager up to 5,000. And now we're going to get into the mind games. Possibly. Is Julia a savvy wagerer? Is she going to wager small in this category? Is Adam willing to put the game on the line if he gets it right and Julia bets big and she passes him? If uh, Julia gets this 5,000, it'll be 16 8, so. Adam could wager 3,800. That would be his. Uh, Strategic cover bet, and if he's wrong with that, he's going to have 9,200. So Julia could cap her wager at 2,600. And I guess they could go back and forth with this, but I wouldn't worry about it too much here. Technically, Julia could also wager down to Dom's level, but I would keep it pretty simple. If Dom goes for this thousand, he'd be at 4,400. Probably not worth the risk there. Maybe she thinks Adam is going to do something along the lines of a shortage, as it is called. Now we've got the zero cover wagers. So we'll see that Julie and Adam are separated by 1,200. And Julia might want to cover a bigger wager or an unsafe wager out of Adam if he goes for this, you know, 1,200 just to keep her locked out or to force her to get it right to have a shot. Uh, 2,400 would do that. So we got those ranges there. Uh, don't see anything else that anyone else can do. And there's no real reason to cap any wagers. Oh, yeah, I should do this for Don. Donald. Donald's up 6,800. Over there is going to be uh, 6,200, so I guess it should be in pink, but or in blue actually, but we'll just do it like that. Now, if I'm Adam, I'm obviously going to go for the lockout, because I probably wouldn't put my life into another player's hands if I had the choice, and I felt confident in my ability to get this. For Julia, I would go for this bigger range, 
just on the off chance that Adam goes for uh, 1200 probably not going to happen, but I, I'm i not going to guess that he is going to go small. Actually, after that daily double wager, who knows? Maybe he will. Okay, I will go watch now, and uh, we will resolve this case. Well, those were some wagers I was not expecting. I was hoping Adam would go big. 10,601, he did. But uh, Dom and Julia weren't really helping their cause with those big wagers. Yeah, I guess Julia does maximize her potential winnings if Dom, uh, Adam misses. But if Julia misses, she's completely out. And the only way that she wins is if she gets it right and Adam gets it wrong. But a smaller wager, she doubles her chances of winning because if they both miss, then she'll win. And Dom had to get it right to have a shot. Whereas a thousand would have kept him in play, but you know it's all rendered moot. Coincidental that this was a baseball clue after I mentioned bunting, and I think I'm gonna start writing my answers up here for better or for worse. And uh, since I keep the camera running to make the editing a little bit smoother on uh, some of the more interesting ones, maybe I'll make a video out of my thought process. But this one was pretty straightforward, as I think it was for all three of them. And uh, Adam has two wins now, and 42's all over the place. Well, zero stuck in there somewhere. But congratulations. Uh, tomorrow's another day. We'll see how the Daily Doubles treat everyone and how, well, the players treat the Daily Doubles. And, uh, yeah, I really, uh, I really thought hard about making a video after Friday's game. You know, the wagering situation wasn't particularly interesting, but a lot of the just vile stuff that was being posted about Ava on the internet, what does it matter, guys? Who, who cares? And particularly the people who argue that uh, God is going to rain brimstone and other things on you for being who you are. I'm sure if you know the Bible, that all happens after you die, and if it's going to happen to her, or if it's going to happen to me, or if it's going to happen to you, or someone else, it doesn't affect you at all. Unless it's you, of course, but let other people live their lives, and, uh, you know, cheers to Ava for getting on television and playing a great game, and Particular thanks to a, a lot of members of the Jeopardy community who went out into the wilds of Twitter and found these people who were saying these really terrible things and, you know, had reasonable discussions or tried to have reasonable discussions with them. It's not an easy thing to do because you know that the hatred is going to come back at you and that's not something that a lot of people are willing to sign up for, but there are a lot of people former contestants, future contestants, I hope, alike, who were calling people out for saying really bad things. So, cheers to you guys. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow right here on The Final Wager.